Hey, Jeopardy fans. Two local contestants. Robert Boyles, Lennonhurst. Liz McCann, South Plainfield, New Jersey. Watch New Jersey versus New York on Jeopardy tonight at 7 on Channel 7. Hey, New York, coming up this afternoon on the Tamron Hall Show, meet the social media star blowing up our feeds. She's a journalist known for asking tough questions to big celebrities. And guess what? She's only 13. Then how did these four fabulous friends earn 11 million followers? Well, by holding nothing back, they joined the Tam Fam. Coming up today at 2, right after GMA 3. the top stories we are following this afternoon. Crews have now stopped uh, the spewing from a ruptured gas line in Union City, New Jersey. Just moments ago, PSE&G gave the all clear and lifted evacuation orders in that area. You see in this video that leak earlier this morning, PSE&G says the rupture caused by a contractor. That area is still close to traffic while those crews complete repairs. A newborn was found abandoned overnight outside an apartment building in Chelsea. The building doorman found the boy just after 3 o'clock this morning with its umbilical cord still attached. The baby was taken to the hospital where it is in stable condition. The search for the mother of the baby still continues. Closing arguments expected to wrap this afternoon in a federal corruption trial of Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey. Menendez accused of taking hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes, including gold bars and luxury cars, in exchange for using his influence as a senator. The case could be given to the jury for deliberations as soon as this afternoon. Danny? Still steamy, but moving the right direction. Our dew points have dropped about 10 degrees since we started this morning, so the humidity not as oppressive as our temperatures make their way close to 90 degrees. Most of us in the 80s right now. Our highs today, upper 80s, close to 90, so just a touch above the seasonal average, but with those dew points in a slightly more tolerable place, we'll call it, it doesn't feel quite as oppressive outside, although, yes, still hot. You'll notice a breeze picking up this afternoon. As we move into tomorrow and Saturday, a similar forecast for each day. More cloud cover, scattered showers and storms, some of which could be strong, but our temperatures back off because of that cloud cover capped in the mid-80s. Then we dry out Sunday as our temperatures take off once again, looking at another heat wave on the way starting Sunday through at least the middle of next week. We'll be back 10 degrees above normal, so enjoy this slightly lower humidity out there today. If you say so. <laughs> Just trust me on this. I do trust you on this. Thank you so much. And that's going to do it for this edition of Eyewitness News. I'm David Amaro. And I'm Sandra Bookman. For Danny and the entire team, thanks for watching. Make sure you're back this afternoon for Eyewitness News first at 4. And we are always on at ABC 7 NY. Have a great afternoon. Stay cool.